Android N's been kicking around with a few alpha builds for a while now, but at Google I.O. they unveiled the first relatively stable beta available for anyone to download. If you want to check it out, go to android.com slash beta. It's available for any current Gen Nexus device and last Gen Nexus device. A few caveats here, it's still a beta operating system, so they're bound to be bugs, bound to be memory and battery drain, and certainly there's going to be some third-party app instability. There are hundreds of new features, but here are some of my favorite things that were added, and also a few disappointments of things that were taken away from the previous builds. First, new wallpapers are here. They're primarily ocean themed, but if you like stock wallpapers, you can now relax and enjoy the waves. System UI Tuner is also getting more powerful this time around. You now can control notifications way more granularly than you could before. You can determine when they peak, whether they interrupt your screen. You can go way more detail than you ever could before. If you haven't enabled System UI Tuner, it's pretty easy. Pull down notification shade, hold your finger over that little gear icon, it'll start to spin, then jump into settings, scroll all the way down to the bottom, and there you'll see System UI Tuner. Hit other, and you are off to control your notifications. My favorite, not useful, but cool to look at feature is now theming in the default Google keyboard. You can now pick a ton of colors, and if that's not enough for you, you can now pick any photo you want using it as a background on your keyboard. So if you want a picture of your cute little French bulldog, you can go ahead and have that now on your keyboard. The next one's going to be a huge benefit if you want to use this beta as your primary phone. You can now run Android Pay on Developer Preview 3. That obviously didn't work before on the alpha builds, but it's here now, so tap to pay to your heart's content. Google giveth and Google taketh away. There are a few things missing from this third build of Android N. Night mode has gone bye-bye, or taken a nap if you'd rather. We'd also seen circle folders in previous versions of Android N. Those are gone, replaced with the more classic, familiar folders that we see in Android M. One of the more requested features of Android is now finally here in multitasking. Scroll up to the top, the upper right-hand corner, you can clear all. Everything else we loved about the first two builds of Android and are here. Highlights include suggestions and settings, more detail uh, in your settings application, and also double tap multitasking to go to the app you were just using. So what do you guys think about Android and are you going to be brave and install it on your primary device? You're going to try it on a secondary device or do you have no interest at all? Or maybe you're going to wait until a full release. I want to hear your thoughts. Give the video a thumbs up. We always appreciate it. And of course, subscribe for more content coming your way. Until next time, I'm John Ranger from Techno Buffalo. See you guys next video. If you just installed Android N and you're really excited and you want to make a website to share all the cool stuff you can do about it, the folks at Squarespace have you covered. You can design your site to look professional regardless of skill level. There is zero coding required. It's super intuitive and really easy to use. They're also going to give you a free domain name if you sign up for a year. Go to squarespace.com slash technobuffalo or use offer code techno with a capital T for 10% off.